A lot of talk lately about Regeneron. It's the monoclonal antibody treatment used on patients who test positive for COVID-19 and who are considered high risk for the disease. Governor Ron DeSantis continues to tout this treatment free to anyone who needs it. We know a lot of you have a lot of questions and so do we. What is it? Who gets it? How do I know if I need it? And tonight, ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is helping you understand how it all works. We're still learning a lot about this virus, which means we're still learning a lot about its treatment. Regeneron is the monoclonal antibody treatment that President Donald Trump touted after testing positive for COVID-19 last fall. Now we're hearing a lot about the drug from Governor DeSantis, who continues to expand Regeneron treatment sites throughout the state. This has been shown consistently to reduce the chance of hospitalization by 70%. Doctors are touting it too. So today I'm talking to an expert who has spent much of the last year studying monoclonal antibodies. This is Dr. Kami Kim. We reached out to her to answer some of your questions. First up, what are monoclonal antibodies like Regeneron? Well, they are life-saving treatments that have been used since the 1990s for treatment of cancer, autoimmunity, a whole slew of diseases. How do they work? Well, these antibodies are called neutralizing antibodies because they neutralize the virus. And so if you give these antibodies early on, you can prevent the virus from getting into your cells. Who gets the treatment? There's a fair amount of provider discretion into who gets the antibodies. We start out obviously with the highest risk patients, but you know there are a lot of people who have medical problems that would want the treatment. And given the fact that it's, you know, our hospitals are overrun and we know it's beneficial, it's pretty much loosened up so that, you know, most people who want the drug, if they present early enough in their disease, can get it. If I have COVID related symptoms, but they're mild early on, do I need to worry about a treatment like this? It's pretty clear from all the studies in our own data that day three is better than day seven. And some people make the mistake of, let me see if I feel bad and then see if I need to go see a doctor. And that's actually the wrong thing to do, particularly if you're in a high risk category. If I'm exposed to someone who is COVID positive, can I get it before I exhibit symptoms? If you've got a case in your household, you know, it might make sense, particularly if you're medically at high risk, not only to isolate and things like that, but go get prophylaxis. Do I still need to get vaccinated if I get COVID and receive the treatment? People are very confused about vaccines. They definitely work. Yes, people are getting COVID more frequently than with the other, with, than with the other variants, but those vaccinated people are getting something like a severe cold or a mild flu. They are not um, coming into the hospital with bad pneumonia, needing a ventilator, things like that. And many of you are asking how much it costs. Regeneron is free. The federal government is paying for the treatment for all patients. And where can you get it? You can get it at many hospitals under a referral from your physician, or you can fill out an online form and present a positive COVID-19 test at one of the state-run sites and get it there. No referral needed. McKenna King, ABC Action News.